Hi everybody, so in video 2008 we took this thing, it was a broken drill actually, we took the motor out of it and we changed it so there was a high voltage, low RPM brushless DC motor and we made it so that the body turned instead of turning the axle. Now by itself that's not a lot of use. We want to actually interface it into something. So something like a windmill or a hand crank generator or just something. So what I've done is I've printed off this gear which is just the right size to slip over the body of the motor because it's the body of the motor that spins and of course I've put it into this cradle. Now if we spin that well, it'll generate, but of course what we want to do is spin it like crazy or interface it to a wind turbine or something like that. So when I've got this gear on it, we can now do that. Now what I want to do with it is I want to drive it with a gearbox because I think it'll get stupid speeds out of that. So I want to see what's going to happen. And to do that, I've created this, which is a planetary gearbox. Now planetary gears are dead simple. They're basically a sun gear on a plate with some planets there hole in the bottom so that you can stack them up and they stack up multiplying. So this is three to one, multiplies nine to one. And they're dead easy to make. The planet carrier is a ring with three prongs on it. The planets go on there. And then the sun gear is integrated with the fixing plate and that whole thing just glues in. Now this is all plastic because we're wanting to test it. If you want to make this stronger, you'd replace those pinions with metal and maybe put um, bearings around the planets. You'll see that there's a bearing right in the center of the sun there. That's to help it spin freely along an axle. So now we can get a number of these, stack them up and we get the same stacking gearing system that we had before. The ratio of each one of these is three to one. So I've put that on there it's three to one if I put that on there it multiplies it's nine to one if I put another one on it's 27 to one and we have this hole going right the way through the center and that's so we can do that with it the whole stacking planet gear system is held in place by a bolt with a nut on it and the bolt fits in the little hex at the bottom there they all spin independently and freely of each other courtesy of that bearing that we just put in the bearings are skater bearing 22 mil by 7 mil by uh, 8 mil center the other thing we've got is the actual ring gear itself again these are available in that file now i've done this for three of them and those three just slot in there like that. Now if I turn that, I'll get 27 times the output. Now what I've also done is created this large sun gear and here it is on our gear train and the bolt goes all the way through so that that's one lump. And that's because I want both an input and an output so that if I input here, it outputs here. But equally, if I input here, it will output here so we can have it universally. Now I've created this cap as well that goes onto the main body so it's like that. Now if you notice on this main body it's made of two parts. There's a part here which is the long section and that's about 62, cent uh, millim 62 millimeters and then this short section which is 35 millimeters and that's so you can stack them up. If you have only the sh long section then it'll take two planets. Add the extra one it'll take three add another one of these small sections and you can keep on building it up so you can just nest this as much as you want. If we then put that back inside here, we get that. And then there's another cap that you print off to go on there and there is our universal planet gear system. So we can turn either one. If I turn this one, this will turn slowly well, with lots and lots of torque. If I turn this one, this will turn quickly, but it needs a lot of torque here to get it to turn. And of course what I've done is produce the handle, and the handle will fit on either side. So it fits on that side, or it fits on that side. So you can do either one of these jobs with this planetary gearbox. And of course we want to link it up to something else. And I don't know what else we'll want to link it up to, but it could be loads of things, which is why I've done it in a universal way. So if I crank that, there you go, we get 27 times the output there. Equally, if I fit my handle on the other side, here we go, and I crank that, then it's very slow on this side, but we get a lot more torque on it. So you use that as a winch, something like that. So the reason I'm calling this universal is because either side can be input or output and you can stick a handle or whatever you want on either side. We've got it on the fast speed side. So I turn that, 
that turns quickly and you can stick all kinds of things on it so this is obviously a very large gear now the modulus of the teeth on this are two and the modulus here is one and a half because the modulus here is one and a half so if I was to just put that against there it wouldn't work so we've got this adapter gear that will go on to there now this is a hundred teeth that's 30 teeth so we have three times we've got 27 here so more or less 100 to 1 if we stick that on there and put it against that crank it we should get some pretty impressive voltages out of that now i'm just going to glue these things together for a prototype because i'm just testing proof of concept the video is really about this universal gear this one was done in a separate video so let's put this on here glue that together crank it up and see what happens So granted, I do have to do a better job of interfacing that with that. This is 100 teeth, incidentally, and that's 30 teeth. But just to show it working, that was awesome. I mean, you try to get 17 volts out of something like that. That's pretty cool. So still work to do on it but the proof of concepts there you can see that the motor modification worked to treat the universal gearbox worked to treat i hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe